The Mineral Systems Drilling Program is a collaborative drilling program to drill new holes in the unexplored areas of South Australia's Gawler Creighton and to trial DET CRC's new technologies. Before conducting any drilling campaign or commencing work on an individual drill sites, it is important to obtain the buy-in of local stakeholders. This is known as the social licence to operate. As well as good communications, the various factors contributing to obtaining and retaining the social licence fall into three main areas, social, environmental and economic. So the Mineral Systems Drilling Programme, it's a very exciting drilling programme to be involved with. It's um, quite different to anything I've done before in my career. It's a real collaboration between the state government, industry partners and, and research organisations. And this drill site that you can see here has been left nice and clean because of the best practices that we've employed. So when we come back in a year or two's time, there should be very little evidence that we've even been here. Because the Mineral Systems Drilling Programme is um, introducing and trialling sort of world leading technologies, it's equally important that the other aspects, the environmental and the social uh, management of the program, um, are addressed equally professionally. They do a really good job, you know, of covering up the ground, covering up the place where they drilled and that. You wouldn't even know there was a drill hole there, you know. It's very exciting that this technology has a much lower impact on the environment. This is a really important message to get out that the exploration industry and the research sector are always trying to find ways of reducing our footprint, reducing our impacts. For example, the MSDP is using a solids removal unit instead of large sumps and lots of water. The MSDP also offers economic and employment benefits to local communities. I'm thrilled to see at this site that uh, the environmental standards are the best that our state government requires of all explorers. A really important part of planning for this important research drilling program has been talking with the traditional owners of the Bangala and also the Gawler Rangers groups. It was very important for me to be involved because I'm the elder of our family and um, tr under traditional laws and customs I had to be there. It was important that we go out and have a look at the sites where the drillers wanted to go and actually drill so that sacred sites and artefacts were identified. We're having a very light stance on the, on the land and making sure their values are not being compromised. And working together, things do end up being good. So we all work together, which was good communication, uh, like it should be, so that's very good. The real importance of meeting with farmers and and the landowners is recognising that not just they own the land and their family is growing up on this land, but they're running a business on this land. And so the business of exploration has really got to respect the, the business of farming on, on this land. As part of the economic licence, it is important to communicate the benefits that exploration stimulation and potential discovery could mean for the region, the industry and for South Australia. By investing in drilling, what we are achieving here is the ability to retrieve samples and directly observe and measure geological sections through the cover and into the underlying rocks. It's by actually retrieving those samples and the subsequent analysis that we do on them that we're able to build our confidence in geophysical models other exploration models in the region, which then builds confidence for people looking to invest in further exploration, and most particularly, the next drill hole. The Mineral Systems Drilling Program drill site provides a glimpse of what drilling will look like in the future. The drilling platform is a mobile, deep earth, sensing, sampling and analytical platform operating at the highest safety standards with minimal environmental impact. During the MSDP, conventional diamond drilling techniques are being used. Although another of DET CRC's innovative technologies, the coiled tube drilling rig is currently being developed. Drilling parameters are measured with unprecedented frequency and precision using the DET CRC wireless sub which enables the driller to monitor and optimise drilling performance in real time. We're using an AMC solids removal unit to clean the drilling fluids and recirculate them back down the hole. This allows us a clean site 
with minimal environmental impact. The chemistry of the drilling fluids is constantly being monitored via an inline fluid management system, also developed by the DET CRC. Rather than going to waste, solids removed from the drilling fluid by the solids removal unit are utilised as the sample medium for the lab at rig analytical platform. The lab at rig measures geochemistry and mineralogy on the drill cuttings as they come to the surface, providing metre scale analytical signal of the deeply buried geology. At completion of drilling, we deploy the autonomous sonde and log natural gamma and magnetic susceptibility as we pull the drill rods from the hole. And we will soon be deploying spectral gamma to enhance these techniques. The complete data set of rig performance parameters, fluid chemistry, rock chemistry, together with mineralogy and downhole petrophysics, can be streamed from the site and used to inform decision during the drilling process.